What's going on, everyone? I haven't done a K-pop reaction in a while, but my favorite group of all time just released uh, their new song, Chill Kill, so I couldn't resist. Got to do, com uh, do some commentary on it right away, so let's jump right into it. Family photo with the guy blurred out. Screen, please. Thank you. I can see them living in this house. I can picture it. Solgi and baseball tees, the ultimate combo. It's almost like they're preparing to uh, show something to their manager. What's this song about? It's that person blacked out in the background, getting their head cut off. Every Red Velvet opening is always a 10. They always have that part in their songs where it starts off very moody and R&B and dark, and then it goes bat 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 bat, like it gets very upbeat right before the chorus. I just wish they would stay on one uh, one vibe. showcasing those acting skills through Morgan Hart to the Teaching the choreography so Yuri actually looks the youngest she's looked since debut in this video. As with any modern video put out by a big girl group, you have to have some movie type scene in it. I want to say New Jeans popularized it, but now everybody does it. New Jeans, I uh, for a velvet, everybody's doing it. Got to light this place on fire. So he never cuts her hair. Love it.
Everyone's doing this old school vibe. I like it. Um, it's a good song. You know, my initial thoughts on on it are pretty positive. It's just oh, with a lot of Red Velvet comebacks, I haven't been like I listen to them, but I don't search them out. So, like when they're played, I'm not gonna skip them. But I'm also not searching them out constantly. Uh, like four minutes and twenty nine seconds for a song is a lot by today's standards. <laughs> Believe it or not, even though about fifteen seconds of that was filler, and there really isn't much to the song, which, which is kind of odd for a Red Velvet song. I really thought it was gonna kind of go all over the place on my first imp- on on that first chorus after that first chorus popped off. But it kind of stayed in its lane, which I like, which I think Red Velvet needs to do more of, cause, you know, because Red Velvet was the exper- is the experimental group of, you know, doing these pop, these upbeat pop songs and then also doing these R&B, uh, very moody tracks. Uh, but now as they grown and matured, you know, both of those, <clears throat> both of those, those genres and sound have kind of just mashed into one. And now the, their songs are Red Velvet songs. And a lot of people can't accept that. They either want to hear Bad Boy and Psycho or they want to hear uh, Red Flavor and Banana. You know what I mean? Or Power Up. So, you know, that's, I feel like they're losing fans because of it. But the people who have matured with Red Velvet sound will probably appreciate it more than someone who came in to the industry on the back of new jeans popularity and doesn't kind of get what they're going for here uh it's a good song uh if i were to rate it i would give it a seven out of ten which is not great but i think it's it's better than some of the it's one of their better comebacks in recent memory it's good all around um you know i got i'm gonna have to listen to it a few more times but overall i have a positive uh, feeling from it i haven't listened to the whole album yet uh everyone on the uh Everyone from Red Velvet says Underwater is the track that needs to be listened to. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Uh, Please like, subscribe, comment if you think I was wrong, or if uh, you want to see me react to any other uh, K-pop content out there. Thank you.